Yeah. Welcome, welcome to the Military Simulator Tactical Shooter and Historic Gaming Channel, home of the weekly Steam Key Giveaway. If you're new around here, just stay tuned till later in the video for details on how to enter. But let's jump right into it, boys. Postscriptum, the next big mod to release, the North African Campaign, the Desert Fox, the Desert Rats. I present to you the aptly named Shifting Sands. All right, all right. So first things first, I want to give a shout out to Mr. Dangerous DB. He is a Twitch streamer and like myself, mains postscriptum. I'll have a link to his channel down in a pinned comment. Go over there, give him a sub, give him a follow. You know we postscriptum content creators need all the love we can get. Somebody's got to do it, right? So basically yesterday, Dane was showed around the map by the developers of this mod. And basically, I just wanted to shorten it up, kind of cut out the ride times and unnecessary parts, trim it all up into a nice little package for you guys so we can put it here on YouTube. And speaking of cutting out unnecessary parts, I'm gonna shut up now. So without any further ado, I present to you my good man Dane, the Shifting Sands Gang. Welcome to North Africa, boys. I believe we're somewhere near Tubrook. Enjoy. Um, let's just have a quick close-up of all the, the gear here so everyone at home can have a nice nice look. Well, that shiny barrel on the end of this Bren here, that's beautiful. Just stay still. I'm just checking you out from behind. That's good. A good... Uh, a uh, Budux there, uh, nice Tommy with those uh, ribs on it for cooling, and we've got a stand it clip here, not not the drum. Uh, yeah, they are... had um, had some issues with the drums, so they were shipped with a twenty round mags as well. Um, the thirty le... rounds weren't developed until later, but yeah. Is that a legitimate fact? Is it? Indeed. Interesting. I did not know that. There you go. We learned a little bit of history here. We've got the Enfield here. This is the Mark III, if I'm correct, or is it Mark II? Mark I, sorry. Which yeah, number one, one Mark III. Number one. Mark, yep. Star. There you go. Looking sharp. Can you uh, add your bayonet to that one? Look at the size of that blade. Look at that. It's a sword. It's a sword, mate. It's a, it's a katana. Look at it. It's half the size of a, the rifle itself. It's pretty impressive. Um, and then you got the, everyone's got shorts. There's no long pants here. No, I don't think many Aussies would have wanted to wear long pants in the desert, quite frankly. Uh, looks good. What's this stick on the back? Just as a curious question. Oh, that's for his entrenching tool. Oh, okay. So that's he screws, screw, tool. he screws on the, their head. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now cool. Like you that. want to have a look and the next step here is to start with the allied main and um, show us some of the props and the vehicles and such. Yeah, so... I'll follow off? you. Um, yeah, so we're about... Our location, in terms of the map, is... We're about 10 miles southwest of Tobruk, the port itself. Um, so there was an outer perimeter of um, fortifications, which the Allies... Um, manned during the siege and yeah we're about 10 miles southwest of the port the actual perimeter stretched for about 30 miles around out in the middle of the desert so that's kind of where we are at the moment and that's where this battle takes place okay um, I we do have a map to show of that I'll see if I can alt tab to it uh, here it is here and there is the, the, the city or the town, and we are down here in 9, 10, 11. Is that my understanding? That's what you said before? Uh, yeah, and we'll be we'll be going to each of those locations later on, um, so showing you If we were to mark where we are right now in the map, would we be closer to 11? Um, we'd be close to the water tower, which, yeah, I believe... Yeah, that's 11. So we're 11. just to the right of 11 there on the map, and we're going to go to all three, like 11, 10, and 9. Um, have a look at the front line. And... The red line, yes, cool. Yeah, the red line. And yeah, we'll have a look at this beautiful patch of desert. Beautiful, a patch of desert it is. I'm loving the uh, dust effect, must I say. Uh, the tins of smoke. Uh, let's uh, continue on. Uh, just a, 
ongoing joke there. Um, all right, what are we jumping in a vehicle? We're just looking at this main here. You've got some beautiful um, plates here and bowls, and this is probably the way they lived. Got a map here that you've already got in place. There you go. That's kind of cool. We understand where we're at. There's the red line. So we're going to start from uh, there and walk our way out to the red line. We've got a radio system. Uh, do you have any little Easter eggs for us to find? Uh, no Easter eggs at the moment, um, but we were going to show you some of the vehicles that we've been working on, uh, or that Tom has been working on in Tonoto um, more accurately for the past few months. So, um, yeah, if you want to come over to the armor spawners here. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to use them because you're not in an armor section. Oh. I don't know if you want to join an armor section. And I don't spawn know if my in. I don't know if my lag will can, allow me. But I can spawn uh, one in. You you spawn it in, and uh, we've all seen what vehicles drive and feel like. But we'd love to have a, a good gander on one now. Let's uh, have a look. Ah, look at that. so yeah, this is our Crusader Mark II. Uh, Tom, do you want to talk a bit about that? Uh, yeah, try. Uh, so basically this was, I think, the first vehicle that was completely new that we uh, got into the game. Uh, nice. With the armor overhaul. Um, we drive it out of the spawner. Uh, it's a three-man tank, if I'm right on that, I think. Yeah, it's a three-man tank. Uh, I think quite fast and agile uh, for this time period. Uh, especially the turret itself is uh, yeah, really fast. You maybe you can try it yourself. It's Quite hard to aim with the full speed turret. Find the entry for the driver. Oh, I'm not a tank for myself, I can't do it. There you go. No. Only one man. Yeah, maybe just drive it out so we can see a bit better. Um, yeah, main armor is the uh, two pounder gun. And uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. There you go. Secondary weapon is an MG, it should be the, this is the base MG, like the normal yeah. tanks have. Yeah. Base MG. Give us a little Thanks. donut there. <laughs> donut on the spot. If you got the power, go on, son. That's true Australian fashion right there. <laughs> At least the Bogan version. Yeah, one thing we want to obviously keep an eye on and improve is the um, vehicle effects. Because obviously it would kick up a a shed load of sand and dust and you'd see that from quite far away so we are still tweaking with distances of how far you can see sand and other effects come off uh, I think it's quite important it kind of grounds it in the environment um, so the yeah, plan the vehicle's fantastic the plan is to have dust effects from the vehicle indeed yeah nice okay yeah. thanks for switching that engine off it's quite loud um, Maybe one special like feature of the tank. Uh, on the top here, on the turret, you have a 360 degree command of view, which you can uh, use, yeah. which should be quite helpful in the desert to look eye, like, uh, keep a lookout for enemy ATs or anything like that. So that will help, and it's quite a cool feature for the commander. Well, thank God there's no javelins out there. Saint javelins, so that's the important thing. Uh, that's uh, pretty cool. That's. Is it really this gap between this? Like, what, how strong is this steel around this? Uh, what is this fuel tank or water or what is this? Oh uh, yeah, so that's an auxiliary fuel tank. Okay, literally just a spare fuel tank. Basically, yeah. It hangs out the back. Is um, it meant to hang out like that? Is it meant to be a? Yeah. Me meant to shoot yeah, through yeah. it? It's literally. Oh, so this is um, this is our Matilda. Obviously, same Thanks. same tank as his already in PS but with a nice nice new lick of paint um, yeah so the camouflage scheme for this one is known as counter or counter um, and yeah it's basically this typical desert and light green uh, camouflage that you see on All quite a lot drag. of vehicles that, yeah yeah I love the, and, uh, the little mirror here. It's quite an interesting little add-on. Obviously, it doesn't work in game, but just interesting as a general piece of a kit. Uh, yeah, so we've got 
this other tank. So this is our our second tank that will oh. be. So yeah, this is the cruiser Mark Two A. Um, so again, same two pounder gun and base are set up, and yeah. So this is, again is like brand new. Post scriptum. Wow, it looks uh, ugly as sin. Yeah. Can I just say, like that thing does not look like it would survive against much, but it is um, beautifully modelled. It's a uh, it's a war design, isn't it, John? Yes. Wow. It's amazing how few bogeys it's got on it, eh? Hey? Um, nice, man. Nice work. Cute little oh, tank, uh, I agree. Internoto's uh, modeling the, the commander at the top here. That's really cool. It's working. Oh. <laughs> That photo was broken, yeah. <laughs> Don't sound so surprised, <laughs> mate. You, you've worked. <laughs> no, it, it works. <laughs> I think that's the uh, other one. What's, uh, that's good. Yeah, the MG is working too. That's uh, one like special thing about the MG compared to vanilla tanks. It has like two pivot points, so it's not like turning at one point. It has like yeah two pivot points, so that's a bit special when using it. I mean, quite frankly, so if you that's, were that's to... Good see this tank in real life you would think it's quite special anyway um yeah. it's such a gumby looking tank it does not have sleek looking shape. angles yeah <laughs> there's nothing sexy about this tank whatsoever can we see your little face that would be kind of cool oh yeah we you can, can see yeah. the driver and open that. <laughs> he looks about it's as beautiful. excited as you would be for a man driving a tank like this <laughs> even the even the headlights look sad <laughs> <laughs> it's just a sad little tank. <laughs> yeah, close yourself up, mate. I'd be embarrassed too. <laughs> what a bad tank. Good, well designed though. I mean, I'm loving loving the work you put into it. I'm not <laughs> not dissing you, but holy shit, what an ugly tank. They must have lost a few of them, or they just didn't bring them out. That's for sure. All right, so we're looking at two of the same sort of calibers here, but this. Uh, this guy's looking mint. What was the caliber on this one again? What, um... Oh, yes, it's two pounder gun again. So, so they're um, all two pounders? So yeah, you've... yeah, they're all two pounders, but mm -hmm. different levels of armor and different speed. For yeah, okay. All three. Now, if we were to do a race right here, which one would be the fastest? Uh, Crusader. Crusader by a mile? Good. Okay. Yeah. I'd say old Ugly Duck here would be the last one off the, the line, that's for sure. I think you could get to the other end of the map before the Matilda left main base, to be honest. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. quite heavily armoured, but it does pay the price in the driving speed. Yeah, I could imagine. All right. Well, there you go. Yeah, the Matilda is a interesting tank, but it is uh, slow, as, slow as guts. All right, gentlemen, let's uh, continue on with our wonderful little... Yeah, let's... Should we get on the road? Let's yeah, get, let's on, get the on the road. road. So, we've got our... All right. Uber for just, the evening. Uh, one... Quick thing I would like to say because I saw yeah. the question in your stream. Yes, uh, yes, please answer. Someone asked if I made all these tanks. Uh, like I did the blueprinting and like, say programming for them in the SDK, but uh, models and stuff uh, was someone else. So can't take all the uh, pride. For yeah, it's a, it is a massive um, team collaboration. We've got yep. people doing texturing, modeling. Um, you know. We're all making it a team effort to implement them as quickly as possible because uh, they do take a bit of time. Yeah, I could imagine, mate. Look, I, I do not have any concept of um, how hard this is. I mean, I've always wanted to design a game or something, but the reality is I open up the program and just cry and just turn it off. So, well done. <laughs> yeah, we've been crying for two years now. It's fine. <laughs> you got to work through the tears. Years before but, but let's get let's uh, get on the road, Joe, shall we? Let's, let's do it. Now, mind you, people, I'm running at 300 plus ping here. So yeah, you might be able to see the first building that we're going to go and visit on the right there. The first building, or the only? Well, building? the first and only. On this map, yep. <laughs> Up to the water tower we go. Now remember, this is the front lines, essentially, of uh, Tobruk's siege. 
and there was some gruesome battles in this area. Wow. <laughs> as soon as the next version comes out, it's all done. Wow, look at that. It is beautiful. I've got to admit, you would see some amazing sunrises and sunsets here, that's for sure. Um, it's about all the beauty we have. Now, this is the water tower. Tell me more. Uh, yeah, so we we know from the research that we did on this area that there was a water tower here. We don't know exactly what it looked like, but this model is designed based on a similar, or we assume a, would have been a similar water tower in Soluk. Um, the similar time and location, so Libya again, 1941. Um, and yeah, that's where the design for the water tower is from. Um, nice. Okay. So there yeah, is actually no basic... evidence of it. Like no fi yeah, picture I, there's, evidence. There's no photographic evidence mm. of this tower being here. Um, we've basically just gone on. A it was a hand, from... a hand drawing, wasn't it? Um... Yeah, it was a hand drawing from a German war correspondent um, in Soluk in 1941. Nice. Water yeah. There's a bit of a proviso um, because we did want to show you this. There is actually, uh, watch, your, watch yourself on the edges. There's no collision at the moment. Um, <laughs> still in progress. But um, we did want to get it in to show you guys. Well, I, I didn't have yeah, any issues it's... just then, but I'm sure others might. Yeah, it looks really cool. That's interesting design, eh? Um... Yeah, it's actually uh, Italian colonial architecture. Um, because the, the Italians were here in the 30s and they like their whitewashed concrete. Um, yeah, so... Painted white. Provided provided water for Tobruk and um, it was damaged a few times during the siege and um, the Royal Engineers repaired it, I believe, a, a couple of times. Um, but yeah, in the middle of the desert, it's kind of an important feature to uh, have access to water, so... So this would have been... This a... is the only... Key component yeah. to the uh, to the German strategy of I guess starving off the um, town is taking this. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Is it a cap point by any chance? Uh, yeah. So this will be um, both a cap point on one of the layers, and we're also going to have a skirmish layer based around this area um, proceeding. So. Nice. Yeah, there should be some good, interesting firefights around this. Yeah, I can I can really see it now. I can just see the horde of uh, Germans coming over, the tanks coming over, the dust. Oh, it's going to look beautiful. It's going to be very interesting. I mean, this is literally the only bit of true cover that anyone has, apart from some of these little, little tiny ravine rocks system over here. Um, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, we have... Um... We have, you know, bear that in mind. And uh, obviously, it was extensive shelling, so we did add, or well, Callum added, quite a few craters, along with um, Tyler. I think there's 700 plus craters on this map, or something, Callum. Wow, yeah, around that. Wow, I'm, I'm imagining yeah, that you're possessed. doing that one at a time, yeah. 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 Oh yeah, yeah. Wow. Good around work. Water Tower itself as well, there is loads of little little encampments and stuff within rocks that you'll you'll notice as you explore around more as well cool well i don't want to discover everything i want everyone else to have the opportunity to to get out there and feel this and discover new things i, I asked before is there easter eggs in this uh fine world of yours i know the uh, other boys have some easter eggs Being yeah gems. i don't think um I think we're going to put like a couple in each, and we're still deciding which, uh, which and where. I think there's a few, a few good ideas coming out. But, I'm, I'm pretty um, old, man. I'm not too fussed about Easter eggs personally, but you found stuff in Italy. I kind of really want to go to Ukraine once that's solved and get a piece of Russian. I don't know. You get a tractor down there. K 
AKA, yeah, I'm going to take my tractor down. <laughs> Drive yourself a BMP home. Yeah, I'll just be like, I'll just need you to send this back with me, please. Um, all right, where are we now? On this the map? is the frontier wire. This is the red line. Yep, this is as far as you want to be. Although historically, the uh, the General Moore's head didn't want a passive defence, so lots of um, aggressive patrols were run out of the wire into German and Italian occupied areas. Um, can we get across this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. So it's not going to bottleneck us. Okay. That looks really cool up there. I like that layout of rocks. And the hill? Is that our hill? Yeah, no. so that's that's looking up to Hill 209. That's the main, that's the jewel of this area. That's the strategic point. Um, um, yeah, we'll take a walk along the wire, I guess. Yeah, let's do the wire this walk. one, is it, John? Uh, yeah, up this, up this way. And yeah, we'll see some of the, the Italian strong points uh, that were manned. This is beautiful, boys. I really like it. It's going to be very interesting to battle on. I'm looking forward to, well, my Monday morning. Uh, or Sunday, when you have a bunch of um, talented streamers who know how, know how to get their audio in check before going live. Um, do you know how many yeah, people we've, we've got um, coming? Yeah, it's going to be one of our larger playtests. I mean, we've had um, a few already with 20 people or so. It's been good fun, but obviously trying to nail down the bugs. But yeah, Sunday or your Monday is going to be very interesting. Um, wow. Oh, and here we are. And this is just a, one corner of the hill. Yeah, so as you were saying, it's very different to obviously PF base pierce as it now is. No, no hedgerows or roadside ditches and what we're all used to. It's... Uh, a you lot of it you can see for about two kilometers there. Two kilometers, and this is not even the first point. That's crazy. Okay. Wow. So the atmosphere does look amazing. Yeah, this oh. is one of the Italian originally Italian fortifications that were built in <laughs> The 20s and 30s around Tobruk, because obviously Tobruk was um, an Italian colony. Um, and then in World War II, it was manned by the Aussies and the Brits during the siege. Um, and in fact, there will be a reference to that on the, the concrete here, the entrance. All right, where, where, where? Um, Over here? Where? Yeah, back oh, yes. here, so you can see. Back down in That's one of the photos we oh, actually yeah. possess. Okay. That's so X. It says Legio Bologna. Um, so, yeah, one of the Italian divisions that was stationed here. Nice. Um, and, yeah, that's kind of. We're going to talk about the Atlantic Wall, and obviously, Rommel in North Africa was later on in charge of building the Atlantic Wall and these positions were used as a blueprint basically for the positions in Normandy and really that's kind of that's kind of where the the Normandy to Brooks comes from um, so you're saying Rommel when he dealt with this he then went over and was taken over to um back to France, I guess, to build the wall. And he literally was like, okay, well, this stopped us there. Let's build the same sort of contact here. Um, Pretty much. Yeah. So. Cool. That's a cool link proved, of history. Um, yeah. It proved quite a difficult um, situation uh, for him and obviously copied it in Normandy. So, Yeah. Uh, and you can see there's a anti-tank trench runs along alongside the uh, infantry position. And this is uh, it here. This is a nice wide. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So in uh, in an uh, extreme okay, emergency, okay. the infantry will be, will be uh, safe in the middle. 
to try and get their AT grenades over the top. Do you know of any point in history where the tanks got this far? Oh yeah, so they man they did manage to break through um, this area. Um, later on in the siege, they managed to capture some of the ground here. Um, so they did get through. Um, it was taken back eventually, I think, in Operation Crusader. But um, yeah, the tanks did, did at various points, they did make it through um, yeah. the red line. To the point where they were using 25 pounder artillery in direct fire at like 100 yards to try oh. and stem the the amount of panzers and Italian tanks wow. coming across. And uh, Imagine the desperate scenarios where you're using artillery pieces in the... At point the, blank. Yeah. Yes. My Often Lord. with only HE. Yeah, just enough to concuss them, really. Let's face it, maybe knock Indeed. a track off. It's, uh, They'll reset the vehicles over, for sure. Yeah, someone might, but I'd like to see them get out and try. Um, I mean, Oh, yeah, we a... have discussed the uh, the resetting. Um, obviously, public play will lend to uh, lots of that, but hopefully enough time for the infantry to, uh, you know, Cut start down. the commander as he jumps out. Yep. Now, are we making a big walk up here to the hill? The actual flag uh, point? Let's have a look. Um, yeah. Yeah, shall we do it? Yeah. Uh... Cheerio. John? Walking up the hill? I mean, you can drive. Yeah, well, someone should have brought the vehicle, but... I'll, uh, I'll go get the vehicle if you you guys want to take a walk up. Uh, Let's do I'll, it. I'll go. I'll go At grab it. The oh, space on this thing. Incredible. So that's just one point. That's not even the cap point, but that would be a very good spot to defend on. Yeah, so th those trenches, there are about 10 and they're all hand placed mainly by uh, our two map makers Callum and uh, Tyler all hand detailed it's, it's about 10 of those maybe more 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 it's about 17 12. of them 17? Okay. yeah there's a lot of them wow, wow. Yeah. I agree with you guys in chat this does look spot on it looks like just what you would expect to see in real life um, it's a very well done so, yeah visit. you can notice the elevation as you come up here this is why it was so strategic it was the highest point for a long old while and we're only talking 200 meters above sea level here it's not even not even extreme. big no but in a in a land of desert a flat desert this is uh vital i wonder how many people were stationed here These old rocks. Yeah, Hello. John, do you want to discuss the old walls? The old fort? Oh, yeah. So there was an, we believe, Ottoman fort here. Um, it was in ruins by the time World War II came around, but the ruins of the fort are still here, as you can see. Um, and they were kind of used as an additional defense for. The troops that were stationed here so obviously you've got like the walls and the trenches that were dug by uh the diggers the aussie troops and yeah so we've got the ottoman fort ruins that kind of go around this area of the hill um you see it marked on pretty much all the maps the contemporary maps and yeah, this will be kind of the focal point of the map, really. Um, it's the summit of the hill and also a ruined fort. So there's quite a lot of interest here. Um, it looks uh, just yeah. a little, little problem there. Can I, is it just my lag that's causing that problem or is it a general You've issue? discovered one of our Easter eggs. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Collision issues. There you go. I did it. I found it here first. Um, there you go. This is yeah, this is incredible, awesome piece of history there. That uh, these blocks are well, how many hundreds of years old? Or uh, Ottomans? Yeah. yeah, couple of hundred at least, maybe 
18th century maybe before 16th we're not entirely sure we're not entirely um, sure <laughs> it has they are been there. there a long old while are they there now i mean i'd imagine they yes. would be yes yeah, yeah, they they're, are, yeah there's still you can still see the like the outline of the the walls um from google earth so cool well, and... we might, might go and have a look at that later then yeah wow guys oh, i'm so impressed i'm really uh really loving this this is it feels like it's been yeah lived we've in, um... and uh feels like it's like current to the time period yeah we've had a couple of play tests um fighting around this area it's, even with limited numbers it was a good old laugh um so uh... really good these day beds here just <laughs> you fall asleep out here and you just fucking burnt to a crisp <laughs> it just i mean it's pretty uh it's pretty pretty relaxed on the night nighttime layer when you got the campfire going here yeah, have a little chill out yeah, i could imagine yeah so when when the dusk and that comes like when you're playing different hours how how does that look like nighttime for instance yeah we're still tweaking uh because obviously out in the desert it would have been pitch pitch black um mm. but we're tweaking with the moon lighting and and trying to get it feeling right for the time i think we've tried it a couple of times it's been a little bit too bright so we're still working on nailing it down because it's quite important to get the atmosphere right as well um, i think you guys will get it right um yeah okay that looks good anyone in chat have any questions for this area will there be heat haze effects at the distance I don't know. Can we afford heat haze? Uh, um, yes. Yeah. We'll be working. It's, uh, it's a little bit strong at the moment. It looks like you're inside a microwave at the moment. Um, so it's a little bit strong. So we've turned it off for now. Um, but yeah, we want to make it feel hot as well. Nice. Okay. All right. We'll hold those uh, other questions for now. We'll head in and we'll head to the next location. We'll move forward. I think Katz knows all about rocks. Yeah, so we got a, a bit of a fine balance between which rock sets off the collisions or not. Um, obviously, the big, big old ones don't drive in anywhere near those. The small We're going to show the fine. natural ravines here on the left, maybe. So yeah, so some infantry cover. Cool. All right, next Search. location. Natural cover. Okay, cool. And is this? Um, uh, do you have any photo evidence uh, of this area and you modeled it to that or are you just sort of thinking yeah that looks pretty close to google yeah there is um there is one one guy who lives lives out there he's a local um he does a lot of volunteer work uh, him and his son to maintain the graves etc and there's a lot of uh, on scene locations um where he's taking his his range rover out and taking some photos so that is um the primary source, I'd say, uh, John, wouldn't you say? Um, yeah, pretty much. I'll have to get you the link because it is it is really interesting to see like the positions as they were. Just you know, a couple, yeah, couple of them are filled in with sand, etc. But um, they're all still there. So what I'm looking at here to the northeast, that's actually not where we just came from, was it? I don't think it is. It doesn't look like it's matching up with the top of the hill. Uh, yeah, two oh nine. Yeah, it is. That is it? Okay. Um, what have we got? A road down here? Coming across? No, it's not a road. Just a bit of flat dirt. And we've got the next location over this way. Okay, so if we were to see the Germans coming, they would be coming most likely in this layer from this direction. Nice. From the west. Yeah. Yes down the hill from Carrier so, Hill, which is where we're off to. One of the um, questions there while we're on our way to the next location is how many layers do you think you'll have? Um, this, because of the size of the map, there's a fair old few options, I'd say. Uh, probably similar amounts of base PS, wouldn't you say, Callum? Because we all obviously have got the main areas, but... Um, yeah, I'd say... Maybe like four to five, somewhere around there, I'd say. All right, so we, we've got. We want to include the uh, nighttime layers and 
you know, maybe maybe a layer where there's a bit more sand kicking up and it's a bit difficult to see the long distances. More sand like stormy a, sort of thing. Sand yeah. sort of, yeah, someone was mentioning like a foggy-esque layer but with sand, yeah, cool. Um, what's the overall size of the map, sorry? It's a 4x4. 4x4, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, there's 88 they've snuck up here. Now, deployables. Yeah. What do we got? Uh, good question. Shall we turn admin all on? Who's got a spade? I have a spade. Always valid position should already be on. All right, let's give it a go then. Let's let's play something over this way. Not so much. It doesn't look like the grenades. A bit of yeah, a bit of this, bit of that. It's uh, uh it kicks up dust, but it doesn't blow it away with the wind. All right, so we've got a oh nice a forty mil. Oh, do you wanna jump on that one? Yeah, hey, let's have a quick look. Uh, you'll jump in driver's seat, so switch over to the gunners, and then uh, you'll be good to go. The uh, lag is incredible for me right now. I'm having issues getting in and out. <laughs> oh. Say no more. Let me aim back where we were. It's a uh, 40mm semi-auto. It's pretty, uh, pretty powerful. <laughs> That's cool. And then you got to manually reload. Okay, cool. Oh. 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 Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. All right. I like that. Someone else shoot it for me. Yeah, this was modeled by Taito. Taito. Um, Taito, big shot. Yeah, it's a very, he's very good at his um, artillery pieces. We've got a few of these floating around, deactivated in, in my town, my city here. Wow. Um, I haven't actually gone to sit on one, but the, the old RSLs and what the, uh, whatnot generally have them. Yeah. That's interesting, that delay length of the sound. I kind of, um, I kind of like it. it's not instant, it has to travel. It does, because uh, the distance is, yeah, yeah. it's delayed. Yeah, that's cool. It is pretty realistic. I mean, I've never heard what a 40 mic sounds like going off, but uh, 40, 40 mil. But, um, yeah, both us, yeah. It's 40, right? It's yeah, 40. and we're looking at, yeah. 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 We're looking to add the two pounder 80 gun and the a quick firing 3.7 inch big old 93 mil British anti aircraft gun. We got a custom homemade uh, smoke. Oh my god, did you see my guy's thumb? You got the old thumb of death, have you? Wow. I mean, thumb it was of doom. Kind <laughs> of bent in a position I can't even do, and I've got quite flexible thumbs. Um, yeah, it keeps reappearing that little thumb. That's cool. All right, what else have we got to build? Uh, mainly on the German side is where the. Uh, I will check that out once we've finished yeah. our run through on the Aussie Indeed. side. Um, so yeah, these positions would have been makeshift by the Germans as they made as it they there. To, yes, um, and obviously taken back by Commonwealth forces and raids and such. Um, but you could only imagine how quickly they would have been digging and sandbagging and like that would have been done over like a course of a Under night fire or two. As well. Yeah, yeah, precisely, Under fire right? Sometime. Yeah. I mean without a doubt Under there would have been and Aussies just over the yonder there and these guys would have been coming in. Like they would have been over the hill, I guess, maybe at um at the closest. Um or at the furthest I should say. Um, yeah, we we found some water journals where they were digging trenches, Aussies digging trenches under mortar fire or under German artillery fire um, you know just to try and get that foothold of bit of ground they've won the day before um, it's pretty pretty harrowing but it's very interesting 
Um, does the Germans have the 88 mil to build? Yes. Okay, um, there you go. Did we add the... Sh I think there's a shielded version and non-shielded. Um, I think shielded is preferenced. Shielded and non-shielded. So we've got the non-shielded here that they've blown out. Interesting. Okay, let's drive on to the next location, which is so this is Carrier Hill, and there's yeah, there's the a little um, last point there. What is it? I think we'll go down to the encampment, Callum. You know what that is? Uh, we have toyed with the idea of because um, in the area there were small caves for medical you know, stations and ammo storages, so we are toying with that idea oh really okay so we could see yeah. some underground sectors yeah they weren't huge but they were definitely there we've got some black and white photos it's pretty cool wow look at this look at this they're gonna come potentially from that angle most likely but they might attempt this you can just see the dust kicking up as the panzer tanks are coming uh that's cool. So this is obviously where they've taken over and they've uh, set up a, a little fob uh, at one stage and they've been overrun again. God, I can only imagine how many times that these pieces of land were exchanged. Um, wow. What have we got here? Car, yeah. Secret documents. Yeah, we... we... We really wanted to capture the whole, like, just used and lived in sort of feel and, like, just thrown together, basically, because it would just change hands so often. We were just trying to really get that feel in there. You can imagine the amount of souvenirs people picked up each time they kind of survived uh, raiding yeah. and taking over locations. I mean, this is it's pretty bloody cool. There was a lot Pretty. of uh, ingenuity with um, captured weapons and equipment as well. Um, the Aussies famously used bush artillery, which is a lot of captured uh, Italian and German bits of kit. Yeah. And they just, um, if they've got a, you know, bit of ammo, they'll chuck chuck all the Italian Italian rounds back at them, or the German rounds back at them where they can. Uh, do the bullets go through? Let's find out. I don't know. Who wants to sacrifice themselves? Yeah, it's, it's just oh, yeah. bad. Stay still. Oh. Oh. Yeah, okay. There you go. You can be killed. That's yeah, I cool. think the material set to cloth, so I think it is. That's good detail, boys. Nothing, nothing worse than being... You know, saved by a piece of cloth. Nice. Oh, only a couple of days away and we get to hear what this sounds like for real. A proper battle. Yeah, okay. I love it. Alright, so we're not even on a cap point here. We're just in a... A little location where a group of guys could set up and have a good time. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see um, with the with the full scale how our players take it. Because if you may be defending Carry Hill, you might send a section out this way or take positions up in some of the natural ravines uh, down the side there. But yeah, well, it's a pretty good spot. I mean, if you can overwatch this, you're definitely going to assist the Carrier Hill sector. You'll stop any um, flank. Uh, from that, from this direction, I guess, from the west of Carrier Hill. All right, let's move on. Yeah, let's switch. Uh, just have a quick preview of the German stuff. All right, let's have a look what kit we got here. Anything new here in kit wise? Uh, it's all rolled back for 1941, so even down to the Car 98K being slightly re retextured to reflect the correct engravings uh, done by John actually the MP38 um, instead of the 40 
Okay, 38, not uh, the 40. What else we And have? the MG34, of course, which is already in game, but no 42. Uh, okay, good, good. And, and we... No Panzer Faust. Okay, and what do we got instead? Any tank rifle. Yep, the good old early war stuff. Are you serious? We didn't have any bloody rockets or anything in, in that time period. Dead set. Wow, how much that must have changed warfare. Like, it's crazy to think that in 1941 they didn't have that, but in, what, 1943, I guess, they started bringing that in? Look at this. It people. was mainly in response to this. the Eastern Front, I believe, yeah. Isn't that pretty cool? That's neat. Bet you guys didn't see that coming. Uh, a little special vehicle we created just a few days ago. Yeah, you can uh, live out the I'll show you the uh, the stage as a biker gang. Here, kick over. Oh, oh my god, I'm going to be sick. Yeah, okay, I like this. Africa Corps on the uh, uniform, I love that. Fully sick. Um, that's have great, boys. A, uh, a tank crew on the go, Scott. Have you got a? Yeah, let's, uh, let's have a look. Let's see what we can spawn in. Time, oh, like? hello. What's this little baby tank? Machine gun wheel. This is the baby tank. Oh, give it a uh, truck for it. Or... <laughs> this that thing? Wasn't this like. Could have been the first tank I made. Like, uh, uh, possibly. I think this one was the first, yeah, instead of the Crusader. Uh, yeah, it's the Panzer 1. Uh, Ausführung R, I think. Should be. Uh, 2 MG was it, uh, 13, I think. Was it the 13? MG 13. MG 13, yeah. yeah. Uh, 25 shot max per MG, so 50 shots per, like, max. First, I guess. It, like, so that's. If you, you can try it out, it's not really that, that long. You can shoot, so you need to uh, save your shots for the guy you really see. <laughs> uh, Two-man tank. The commander has quite a good view and cool position. Uh, the driver, yes. not so much. Yeah, the <laughs> driver is completely like, uh, opposite. You have these two vision slits in the front and the one on the side. Where we created uh, the 3D effect, if you want to try it out. Yeah, I have to spawn myself back in, so uh, let me shoot this gun first before we go and drive that out somewhere. But we'll take it for a bit of a drive and we might just go outside of the um, uh, spawn location here. So let's grab a couple more tanks or whatever else you've got there to show and we'll move forward and make sure we've got someone to do some logistics and I guess an MSP so I can spawn right back at the action. Copy. Um, <laughs> Maybe someone can bring the new half check variant uh, outside yes. for men. Oh. Oh, that sounds good. I like it, and it's a very good looking uh, weapon. It's interesting how much they sort of dumbed down just uh, uh, the weapons appearances I guess in the later war just for obviously cost saving and manufacturing speed because um, all the earlier gear uh, looks handcrafted and uh, yeah, it looks looks really good yeah okay cool all right let me do another respawn I'll come back with a tank man all right so this is the w new or oh, 1941 half truck is that right oh what is that oh, hello Jack. Give this a, a go. That's right. We live in a new world. Hmm. I always forget to be. Yeah. I know, right? Uh, I do love it. Oh. Oh, hello. And you can roll out. 
You can just peer through one better. Alright, so what's the... Uh, I've only got the slit and the single slit. Is there another view here I should be looking at? Uh, for the driver, it's just these two, like the double slit to the front and then the other one is... It's like single slit left. to the side, gotcha. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Wow. So, uh, comparable to a medieval helmet, maybe. <laughs> it's Can't see really that much. It's exactly what Very it feels across like. Very like. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. And um, and there's no like zooming in feature or anything either by the look. So you're, you're stuck in that view. Interesting. And let's get into the gunner's position. Reload? I'm, I'm loaded. Why am I sh oh, there it is. Yeah, you need to press the secondary shooting weapon, like right click for it. Because it's just uh, Thank you, a buddy. secondary weapon. G13, look at that thing. Wow. You just squirt those out, don't you? Looks like you got <laughs> the runs or something. And then you're done. Wow. That's insane. That's that's not going to get you anywhere. And uh, historically, the commander who would operate the gun and um, and signal other tanks would uh, have to hand reload both MGs oh, with wow. normal magazines. Um, so he's a pretty busy man. Yeah. So what we want to do, we've only just started, but upgrade the or change the mesh of the like the sandbag deployables. So everything you upgrade will look unique and deployables will look grounded in, in the desert etc nice so yeah obviously these aren't these aren't new but they're all all in and retextured i think john you did most of the texture work yeah i love that oh cool that's cool that how the wheels disappear and it digs in that's really cool um i never play as the german side so i don't know if that's <laughs> that's old news or not but uh Oh, I do not see that ugly little allied tank surviving against that. That's a good question. We have changed the planes. Okay. Um, there, there is uh, Axis is the same planes, but reskinned. The Aussies have the Desert Air Force, which has included a P-40 instead of the Mosquito. Okay, um, cool. And the Hurricane, which was from Chapter Mercury, actually. The Chapter Mercury Hurricane has made a reappearance in Armored, so thanks to them for that as well. Uh, uh, as the strafer. Nice. And I realize that uh, you guys have worked together on sharing assets. I mean, obviously, it makes sense. You're both working in the same time period and also both working on similar uh, yes. um, allies, I guess. Yeah, the Aussies and the Kiwis and whatnot and the Germans, obviously. So... All right, that about wraps it up, boys. I trimmed it up to the best of my ability. If you want to check out the whole thing, like I said, go see Dangerous DB over on Twitch. Link down in the pinned comment. I know a big question is, uh, when are we going to be seeing this public? When is it going to go live? When does it release? The dev said about two, maybe three months max. So it's on the way. We're going to have a few internal tests today. I know some content creators and their guests are attending a test. I'm bringing along my Millsimp minions, my channel members, of course. Consider supporting the channel that's one of the perks you get whenever i get invited to these kind of things and i'm able to bring guests the first people i bring are my milsip minions my channel members we give away a steam key at the end of the week every week to enter all you got to do is like this video or any video during any week and then i announce a winner at the end of the week the last video sometimes it bleeds over into monday if i'm super busy but just like this video subscribe to the youtube channel of course join us on discord it's linked below and drop a comment say whatever you want in the comment but leave your discord name and number because that's going to work as your ticket stub all right good luck to everybody by the time this is posting i'll be getting ready to play shifting sands myself i know a bunch of people will be streaming it i'll see you boys on the battlefield y'all be good to each other